Okay, and just another update. It's the, the solar riser tubes uh, and headers and everything is all, and the insulation is all inserted into the box, so it's in there to stay. And I'll just give you a little explanation of how I did it here. Um, so these two things that are stubbed out is one here, and there's one at that end. You can see it. Those are all soldered on before I put it in the box. So I was able to take the whole unit slide it up onto this board here and in at an angle and slid those through. Of course that leaves me these two obviously I can't bend the pipe up at an angle and shove these through so these were off. This one which is the feed I used a shark bite T so when I drilled my hole here I could simply feed that through and make that last connection so there is my cold which will go in the hot, where it was a nice long distance, I was able to sweat it, or solder it, um, with uh, an elbow. I was able just to lift this up, get it up off everything, and solder. I cut off, if you remember before, I had a short piece here with a cap on it just to test everything with pressure. So I removed that, now um, soldered this long one in. So now it's very simple. Your hot, I mean your cold, goes in goes across all uh, the base, up all the risers, to the header, across, and then currently, right at the moment, it will make this corner here and stay three-quarter back down. And that, of course, is my one I just showed you the elbow, and that is the hot going out. Now in the future, when I add another unit, another collector, I will disconnect this and either cap it or put an additional uh, riser tube or even connect this as a riser tube. I probably won't. probably want to keep it all the same size. So I'll probably just end up capping this and of course the water will go up these tubes over uh, and then there'll be another collector here with risers going up over and then there'll be one of this set up in the uh, next collector which will go down and across um, both of them in through this one and then continue on the path that is currently there now. Uh, so that will be for a future setup. So this saves you a lot of work later on if you plan on building more. I don't have to get back inside this box and do any cutting for that just for that one um, elbow up there. So that's where it looks like for now. Now I have to work on the um, aluminum plates to wrap all the copper pipes with to help um, collect the heat. So until later, we'll uh, let you go.